Hey everyone, welcome to my channel for another exciting, fun-filled episode on this Pastor Maker dinghy build. We got lots to do, so let's get at it. All right, so if you remember from, I think it was last episode or the one before, and the problems we had with this guy and having a carriage bolt in there and uh, what I was going to do. So what I found was these uh, M8 square hole uh, wooden decking washers, um, actually from a place in UK. Yeah. So Accu in UK, um, found, uh, found these, uh, stainless steel M8, um, washers for carriage bolts. Now this is a five sixteenths inch bolt and you can see there's a little, quite a bit of slop in there, but I think we're okay. Um, because what I plan on doing is putting in um putting these in and then putting uh, uh notches in two sides of it and then using these uh, stainless steel screws to hold that in place to keep the uh twisting motion from happening um so i think that's uh i think that's the best idea i could come up with for now um and it's uh uh it's still got enough room to to fit in there and we got plenty of size on the uh plenty of uh, length on the other side so that's what i'm gonna do now is i'll go ahead and get set up on the drill and see how we can uh if we can drill in a couple of notches on either side of one of these washers <laughs> i got 10 of them so i ought to be able to get at least uh one out of these 10 uh, to look halfway decent and to work for this so let me pause here we'll get you set up on the drill and be back Alrighty then, not sure how good this is going to come out. The lighting's pretty poor, um, but do the best I can. So what I've got is the, uh, the washer sitting on top of a piece of uh, scrap plywood with uh, being held down by a vice clamp. And then I've got the drill press clamp holding the vice grips in place. So this is a recipe for disaster if I've ever seen one, but let's give this a shot. I want to go ahead and put it a uh, notch right there, I think. So I'm going to hit it uh, a little bit slow. I, ooh, I forgot to check. Well, we're just going to have to go slow. I don't want to go messing around with the spindle speed here, I don't think. Let's see how this goes. Um, we might have to backtrack and slow down the drill, but here it goes nothing. Huh, well, I was actually able to drill a hole there. I didn't think I'd be able to hit the um, uh, hit that with quite the uh, accuracy that I did. <laughs> Surprisingly, huh? That doesn't look half bad there. Now, if I can just do the same on the other side, we'll be good. We'll be good. Let me make sure here. Um, yeah, it might be a little bit too close there. I may have to take a Dremel or something to get the uh, get that out to make it a slot. I don't know if my screw like this. So if I put the put the screw in first, yeah, then the carriage bolt's gonna hit it. If I put the uh, carriage bolt in first I'm probably okay hmm yeah I'm gonna have to uh, uh, make this a slot I think shouldn't be too bad with a Dremel tool I should be able to uh, just take off that little bit there at the end and uh, make that into a nice little slot give me a little bit of wiggle room too so let me go ahead and see if i can get set up and do the uh try to put one on the other side here too all right so i did take time to go ahead and slow down the uh, drill speed uh, just a little bit see uh, <clears throat> make sure we're going nice and slow on this uh, stainless steel so let's see how this works I 
starting to get a little sawdust on it anyways. <laughs> Ooh, that looks pretty darn good. Um, let's see if you can see this here. So like I said, I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and get the Dremel tool out and see if we can do... Um, geez, that's awful thick, though. Um, maybe I'll try just running a hacksaw down. Mm. Hmm. All right. Anyways, let me uh, pause here. I'll figure out what the next step is. Uh, after this, I need to do quite a bit of sanding on the rudder cheek assembly again to get it ready for its final coat of epoxy and then uh, start working on the yard and the boom. And I had a nice uh, little talk going there with myself because I forgot to hit record. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, so I got this, I got one side done here. It didn't come out too bad. Probably could use a little buff up, um, but the uh, screw slides in and out just like uh, give me a little bit of wiggle room there. And I just need to do the other side. So I used uh, used a cutoff wheel on the rotary tool. And then I've got this deburring bit um, to help smooth out some of the edges. Like I said, probably need a little bit of buffing and still a little bit of cleanup. But let me see if I can get the other side done while I've remem remembered to uh, <laughs> hit record. All right, I'll just hit it with that deburring tool, clean it up a little bit, and see how it looks. Yep, good deal. Let's see if we can make sure we get that on camera. A little bit tight. I might clean that up a little bit more yep almost looks like uh, it was made made for the job so good so i got that done that's uh one last worry off my mind i think this will work good for uh, keeping that carriage bolt in place and providing some protection to the wood and uh, if I ever need to replace these, I can. I got. I got nine more. I, I can. I can go ahead and uh, make up another one. Okay, then. So we're back inside. Um, earlier, I. Uh, in fact, it was actually a couple days ago. I went ahead and finished up the rudder, and I've got half, uh, one side of the rudder cheek assembly done. I still have to uh, do this other side. You can see it's not. Um, I sanded it again and, and now we just got to put the final layer of epoxy on it. The rudder does fit in there pretty good. The uh, problem is the drip through from that hole, there's a little bit of epoxy there. So I'll have to, I'll wait till I do this side over here and then, um, and then I can get in there with a, some sandpaper on a, a paint stirrer thing to, to, smooth out that inside and then that's all ready for whatever I decide to do next with it. For now we're going to go ahead and get switched over to the yard and the boom. So I went and um, got everything cleaned up pretty good. I rounded over the edges where we needed with a quarter inch round over bit um, and I've kind of got a a little bit of a setup here with uh, just some clamps underneath here to kind of steady it and provide a little bit of friction. So what my plan is here is this is a pretty big glue, glue up where I've got to do this whole uh, this whole darn thing with um, thickened epoxy and then this uh, this is the boom so this gets put up on top here and then screwed down. So in order to help me out here I'm going to go ahead and and this is uh, this this part here is part of the yard boom. <laughs> it's part of the yard. Uh, no, sorry. Oop, let's reverse that. So 
this is part of the boom, right? So the boom jaws go here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll put this one here first and then this uh, long piece uh, to help me find the uh, location a little bit easier that way. And then on the yard, remember we've got these, uh, these yard uh, jaw pieces that'll fit on here. So I'm gonna wait and do those. Uh, I'll do those after I do the big glue up here and um, there'll be plenty of squeeze out and clean up here. So this could be kind of messy. And then once, um, <clears throat> then once this dries, I might have to do some cleanup back out in the shed for doing a little bit of rough sanding. And then uh, we'll get them up on <laughs> this monstrosity here uh, and start putting on some coats of uh, epoxy on these guys. So let me get you set up and we'll get right at it. All right, I got six uh, pumps of epoxy here. I did finally switch over to uh, regular mixing cups. The uh, ones I was using before, they had the ridges along the sides and I noticed I was, uh, uh, wasn't able to get all the epoxy out of them uh, with those ridges. So I've actually switched over to uh, made for it uh, mixing cups. Um, so I'm mixing up some clear epoxy here first I'm going to go ahead and do a coat, uh, get the final coat on here. And then I'm also on the uh, rudder cheek assembly. Then I'm also going to do a, a, just a small uh, wet out of the other side of the boom assembly here all the way down. And then I'll come back and use the thickened epoxy on the skinny part here. Uh, and then we'll put it all together. So hopefully that works. We'll see how it goes. Just going to use a small acid type of brush here to do this um, wet out here. Alrighty, got my thickened epoxy all ready here. I'll get started and then uh, I'm going to move the camera so hopefully you'll get a better, better overall distance. But this ought to be a pretty messy job, so um, always fun showing that. Uh, let's see, so yes. Probably should have used uh, one of those piping bags for this now that I think about it. <laughs> Let me see if this, uh, I don't know if this brush is going to better or worse. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to use this brush, I think. All right, not sure how that cam camera angle is going to work. <laughs> but We'll see. All right, let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna put Probably come back with the uh, impact driver and give those a, a tighten up later on. Now for the long one. Let me go ahead and set you up back over on this side. All right, I'm going to see if I can get a couple of these screws. 
poke through. Eh, well, I'll have to get us started. Something happened here. <laughs> oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Yep, we'll just pretend that didn't happen, all right? We just won't say anything about that. Yeah, I wondered why it wasn't working. One thing I forgot to do that I was planning on doing <laughs> is get this some in this end grain here. All right, we caught it in time. The reason I didn't want to use the driver, the impact driver starting these is to make sure that I actually got the screws in the holes. So um, using the impact driver, um, I find I run the risk of not getting the feedback to see if they're in the uh, pilot hole or not. So That was a job. <laughs> I didn't help myself a lot there either. All right, I need to quickly put on these jaws. And I didn't wet anything out. Let's see here. Let's try putting the screws in first before I <laughs> wet out the... For some reason, these didn't fit the same way. Better. Those have both got good squeeze out now. All right, now I just got to uh, clean up the uh, squeeze out and uh, let them dry. I still haven't heard any, uh, nobody gave me any suggestions on what to do with this squeeze out, this leftover squeeze out. Need something to make a mold or to have as a mold that's flexible, that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I'd like to use everyday stuff, um, but I think maybe a silicone mold is about the about the best uh, the best choice. But anyways, let me get this cleaned up, and then uh, hopefully we'll be back to finish up the epoxy on these guys. So yesterday I went out and uh, cleaned up both the uh, boom and the yard to get ready for the next step, but unfortunately. The boom here, um, I, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe when I had it, uh, the backwards, <laughs> backwards itis there, uh, maybe something happened, but we didn't get, uh, we didn't get a good fit here on these two pieces. Um, not real happy with it, the way it turned out. And also thinking back on it, you know, I was putting it on like this with the screws in the top here. Um, and I, and I had thought about this somewhere along the line and just didn't do it or didn't think it would be necessary, but I really think when, if I was going to do this again, I would get a little bit longer screws and go through this way and just make sure that my pilot hole here, um, uh, and I was real careful about this depth, uh, it, just because I think it would have, I would have been able to see this better than having it be upside down. So, anyways, what I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put a, uh, I'm going to put a fillet, uh, a very small fillet, along this edge on both sides, um, and I think that will be good enough. Um, 
uh, to at least get it sealed up and looking halfway decent. Um, but like I said, I did clean it up yesterday. Uh, got rid of most of the stray uh, epoxy uh, and some of the squeeze out that I had missed. So that should be pretty good. And then I've got the um, the yard up here. <laughs> so I got my step ladder. So I'll I use my step ladder to start painting down here with uh, regular epoxy. And that ought to be a lot of fun. The uh, the jaws down here on the end did come out pretty good. Um, don't see any problems there uh, that won't be, uh, you know, once we put some, uh, just some clear epoxy on this, this, this will be fine. Um, so, yep, so that's what the plan is for today. Hopefully it doesn't take too long and, <laughs> and I don't screw it up too bad. All right, using my uh, pastry bag this time, and uh, like I said, this is going to be a very small fillet. One of the problems is we've got the holes um, on the top side of the boom here where ropes will go through eventually, um, and they're pretty close to this, uh, this center um, stiffening board. So anyways, it's going to be a real, hopefully, small, neat, and tidy <laughs> little uh, fillet here, but we'll see. See how that you know how that usually works. Yeah, I don't know why the I didn't get a good a good fit here. Uh, one of the things I think might have happened is that I had this out in the shed, and then when I brought the wood inside in the drier, uh, cooler environment, it shifted. It one possibility <laughs> that I should have thought of. Um, not, not really sure why this uh, didn't didn't get fit down all the way, but we can make it better. Do a first pass. So I'm just going to use the. Uh, little popsicle stick uh, for my filleting tool on this one. Let's see how this goes. Alrighty, that'll take a little bit of cleanup, but I'm pretty darn happy with the way it's looking. All right, let me turn this over and I'll get going on the other side here. I don't break anything in the meantime. All right, good. I'll pause here. I'll finish this side up and we'll be back to get the first coat on the yard. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. <laughs> I was up there painting and uh, realized I forgot to hit record and uh, didn't want to come all the way back down to, to hit record. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, so I've got the top part um, pretty much done. I'm just uh, working my way down here slowly with some clear epoxy and getting a, a probably a medium to light coat on here for the first first one here. Um, yeah, so what I plan to do is we'll put a second coat on this one tomorrow and then I'll um, and then I'll clean up the boom out in the shed, out in the hot, hot shed. And then once um, I'll bring that back in and the next day I'll do the first coat of epoxy on the boom and then clean up, do a sand, good sand on this one. Then do a second coat on the boom and the final coat on this and then keep on going. Hopefully by, um, oh, I don't know, maybe, uh, Next week or so, we'll be uh, we'll be done with the uh, yard and the boom as far as we're going to go 
right now, I still, I'm still thinking that I might um, paint these guys instead of varnish, but we'll figure that out in some future time. Hmm, I hadn't thought about these uh, through holes being as long as they are. How the heck am I gonna get epoxy in there? Hmm. Yeah, that acid brush mostly works, so I think we'll have to <laughs> call it good enough. If I didn't get too many whiskers all over the place. All right, then when I put the uh, the second coat on tomorrow, I'll flip it, flip it around so that side's down, that side's up, um, just so I've got another another view at it and uh we'll see where that goes all right we're gonna go ahead and call that an episode uh got some more stuff done we're poking away at it while we're waiting for the <laughs> this ungodly heat to uh settle down a little bit so yep like i said i'll uh clean up the boom tomorrow out in the shed put a second coat on the yard tomorrow and then uh, swap them around, get a coat, get two coats on the boom and sand down the yard for get, get it ready for its final, uh, final coat of epoxy. Um, next episode, I'm thinking it's time to cut out that dagger board trunk and figure out what we're going to do to straighten that guy out. But I'm still, still kind of thinking about that a little bit. But anyways, we'll see. We'll find something to get into trouble with. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Please leave me any comments, questions, suggestions down below. Please tell your friends about me. And please, please subscribe. Everyone, take care and be good.